Remember, don't say anything. Let me do the talking. Sorry, just came back from the uh, airport. Is that a girl? Mother, father, you see this, right? I'm not going crazy. No, sweetie. We see her too. Okay, good. I thought I was going crazy because not only is there a pretty girl here, but those clothes are really unique. This attire happens to be my cosplay outfit. Yeah, her cosplay character is a princess. She's very dedicated. Ah, how lovely. Does your friend have a name? This is Erlen. She's part of the homestay program and just arrived. You mean that program our neighbors did? Isn't she supposed to be staying with them? No, she was staying with us. Dad signed us up for the program before school started. Didn't he tell you? No. I didn't hear about this either. He must have forgotten to tell you. You know how they are, always forgetting things. Remember that time Dad almost left without his luggage? That definitely sounds like your father. The amount of time he lost his keys. It's because they're on the road so often. Having to keep track of everything can be tough. So, Erlen can stay, right? Yes, of course. Welcome to our home. Erlen is such a unique name. Where are you from? I am from Belden. Belden? Sweden is what I think she meant to say. Thick accent. <laughs> Yes, we'll have plenty of time for questions later. Great, I'll show her to the room. This is where you'll be staying. Where's the rest of it? This is it. Well, at least it's clean. I'll let you get some rest and we can revisit what to do in the morning. But before I go, I want to make sure you understand that while well, you're stuck here with me, you're Erlin, the international student from Sweden. Got it? You want me to pretend to be a commoner? Hmm. Think of it as an opportunity to explore how the other half lives. And why would I do that? As a princess, your subjects are all commoners, aren't they? Naturally. How can you be a well-liked, respected and effective ruler if you do not understand their struggles? Our subjects already respect me. Why? Because... Just think of your popularity if you can actually connect with them. Show them you understand and are there for your people. Hmm. I suppose a learning opportunity couldn't hurt. Then. Right.
Emily. What are you doing? Don't you know what time it is? Yes, it's 8 a.m., which is preposterously late. Oh, crap, I've got to get ready for school. Wait, I have something important to ask you. What is it? Where is my breakfast? Did you check the kitchen? Why would I do that? That's where breakfast is normally kept. <laughs> Who knew commoners were so funny? Breakfast is ready for you in your bedroom, of course. Hold on. Let me get ready and we can go get breakfast. Breakfast is served. What is it? They are egg salad sandwiches with ham and lettuce. Try one, they're good. Maybe this is good enough for your kind of people, but it certainly isn't food fit for a princess. Don't you have a dish that's more refined? Nope. My kind of people only have this sort of unrefined food. I don't think this will sit well with me. But I suppose I can make an exception just this once. How is it? I wouldn't normally choose it, but I don't really have a choice now, do I? And yet, you're almost done with it. I was just hungry. Uh huh. Do my eyes deceive me? For once, is my cousin ready for school before I am? I can be self-sufficient too when I want to be. I bet Alan will feel it this morning, didn't she? Alan, you should change into your uniform. We'll have to go soon if we don't want to be late for school. Uh, actually, there was an issue with her transfer paperwork. She'll be at school later today after all that's fixed. In the meantime, she'll stay here. Right, Evelyn? Okay, do you need any help? She's fine. We need to get going before we're late. Okay, okay, jeez. When did you start caring so much about school? I still feel the same way, but I know that you hate being late. I'm doing this for you. Don't leave the house. We'll figure something out when I'm back from school. So, what's the deal with you and this homestay program? Huh? You never seemed interested in it before. Why did you and your dad decide to sign up for this? It was my dad's idea, actually. Really? I didn't know he paid attention to that stuff. Oh yeah, he said it'd be a good learning experience. About different cultures? Since he travels a lot, he's more in tune with that sort of stuff. He can learn a lot about the world just by interacting with others. That's a good point. It does sound like something your dad would say. Still, it's a little strange that your parents didn't tell my parents, you know? 
You know how forgetful they can be. They're trying so much that it's hard for them to keep straight what they did and didn't discuss. I guess, but this is kind of a big deal, don't you think? There's no point dwelling on it now. You guys aren't upset, are you? Of course not. It's your home too. Honestly, I'm actually really excited to get to know Erlen. It's gonna be really cool having another girl in the house. And you know how mom and dad are. They're probably happy to have another taste tester for dad's experimental bread flavors. Yeah, he comes up with some really strange combinations sometimes. I think the word you're looking for is creative. Hey guys, what's with the slow start today? I had to go on ahead without you. For once, it wasn't me who was the hold up. I was only later than you because I wasted time looking for you. Who would have guessed you'd already be downstairs? So you're saying that it's a bad thing I was up on time? No, you should be able to wake up on your own. So then you are admitting that it's your fault we were late. No, it's still your fault. You can't have it both ways. Dawn, Duchess of Velenor, third heiress of Belden. Oh, it appears we have a drama student. How very fun! Please take a seat so we can resume the lessons. There's an open one towards the back of the room. What happened to Bean Erlen, the international student from Sweden? These commoner titles are all so trivial. I couldn't care to remember what it was. Or were you just unable to remember? As if that would happen. I thought I told you to stay in the house. What are you doing here? I tried to stay in the house. It wasn't my fault. I'm sure we'd all like to welcome Miss Dawn, but class is in session. Why are you out of the house? As I already told you, the fault is not with me. I went back into the kitchen to get more of those sand... <clears throat> something more to eat. And your uncle saw me in there. He kept insisting that I was supposed to be in school, even though I told him otherwise. He said something about helping me with my paperwork and then walked me to the school. Do you not have automotive transportation? There's no need to drive when you can walk instead. Exercise is good for the body. Eating sandwiches and sitting all day is how you get fat. Absolutely nothing. But going back to the original point. I was getting to it. Your uncle talked to the school and they figured out my transfer and then forced me to dress up in these horrible clothes. 
closed before sending me here. You may want to dub those buttons, by the way. They are done. Oh, well, maybe you could get a larger size? This was the biggest size they had. Well, it seems like you're stuck coming to school after all. Erwin, you're here. I thought you weren't coming in until later. Uh, I guess everything was sorted faster than anticipated. Taking her to the administrative office this morning. It doesn't matter anymore. She's here now. Next time you need help with something, you can come to me. If you wait on this guy to figure things out, you'll be waiting forever. And it'll still end up being a complicated mess. <laughs> yes, I can already see that. Would you be so kind as to tell me where the restroom is? Of course! It'll be easier if I show you! Come with me! Thank you. You and that new girl were talking for a long time. A long, long time. <laughs> Are you jealous? Me? Jealous? Of course not. Clearly she's only talking to you because you two sit next to each other. I bet if she had sat next to me then it would have played differently. I mean, who could resist all of this? <laughs> Whatever you say, bro. Hey. Hi? Hey, Kira! Oh, hello. Are you free after school today? Yeah, I think so. What's up? I was hoping we could meet in the courtyard to talk. Sure. I'll see you then. now Marilyn and now Kira too she doesn't even sit next to you nothing can predict the matters of the heart but why you though it doesn't make any sense love doesn't need to make sense bruh the answer really rustles my jimmies well, so is my Jimmy's. See, I'm so annoyed I can't even think of a decent comeback. This is it. I'm dead. Kose, get up, dude. You're embarrassing both of us. Nope. Can't. Too dead. This is my life now. Is Kose having a crisis again? It seems like it. Why is the world so cruel? How come my best friend gets all the girls and I can't even get one? Wait a minute. I, the best friend, and he's the MC? What am I thinking? Of course not. How could I be relegated to the comic relief? No, I won't take this lying down. I, Kosei Nakahara, am the MC of this story. You hear that, world? You hear what, Mr. Nakahara? Nothing. I hope you all enjoyed your break. Now we'll begin our next lesson.
Hey, wait up. Aren't we all walking home together? Sorry, we got to go meet somebody. You and Erlin can head home together. Oh, okay. Who are you meeting? Kira. Really? How did that happen? It's a long story. Of course I will tell you about it. I'll meet you at home. What's he talking about? Don't even get me started. I've got to get to work. What is it that you want to talk about? At the shrine, I saw everything. What do you mean by everything? I saw Erlen drop out of the sky and land on you. Oh, well, that about sums it up, actually. What I can't figure out is that weird thing I saw in the sky. What weird thing? I don't know. It had weird shapes and seemed to glow. I've never seen it before. And then a moment later, Erlen fell. I wonder what it is that ethereal energy the old woman was talking about. What's ethereal energy? I have no idea. It was something the old lady mentioned. Did you see her? She was kind of pushy about making a wish and said something about the ethereal energy and the astral continuum alignment. None of that sounds familiar. I think she's involved in this. The thing in the sky might be something she created. Or at least something she knows about. I need to go back to her shrine to find her. Would you be willing to go with me? I'll need your help describing whatever was in the sky if we do find the old woman. Plus, since you were there last night, you might remember something I missed. Let's go back to her shrine tomorrow afternoon and see if she's there. Sure. I have to go now, but I'll meet you tomorrow. Sure. Thanks. What are you two up to? I was just asking Erlen how she gets her hair so shiny. It's from the hair mask I use. Hair mask? That's right. The one I use is made out of egg yolks and a few drops of lemon juice. I let it sit in my hair for exactly 20 minutes before washing it out with cool water. Huh? That actually works? See for yourself. Do you think that would work on mine? Absolutely. It would work on anyone's hair. Your natural hair is already very healthy and pretty. If we just give it a little touch-up, we can get it to shine even more. Ah, That sounds like so much fun! We should have a girls' night sometime so you can show me how to do it! Girls' night? Yeah! That could be fun. Sounds like you guys are going to have a great time. Yep. Do you use any other beauty products? Oh, yes. My skincare routine is essential. I use a face mask at least three times a week. There's also cleanser, moisturizer, toner. That sounds so complicated. I had no idea there was so much to do. I just wash my face with soap. That's important too. What kind of soap? The same one I used to wash my body. What? You can't do that. 
Huh? Why? Because that's how you dry out your face. Body soap and face soap are completely different. It is? Of course it is. Body soap strips your skin of healthy oils, and your face is so delicate and cute. Please change your habits now before it's too late. My face is cute? Very much so. That's so nice of you, Erwin. I'm only stating the truth. Luckily, I'm here now to teach you everything I know. Maybe I should leave you to it. Oh, we're not gonna do any of that right now. We're saving it for girls night. In fact, now that you're home, we should visit Kosei at his new job. Good idea. We've been meaning to check out that arcade. It sounds awesome. What about you, Erwin? Do you want to visit Kosei with us? What's a Kosei? Who is the guy from our class? <laughs> Are you planning on walking there? Yeah, it's really close by. No, thank you. Okay. Seriously? I'm exhausted. But we only went to school. Yes, exactly. I'm going to go have a little lie down. You two have fun. Um, your bag? Oh, yes. Please see to it. What was that about? It said she's never had a full day of school before. Uh, jet lag. Oh, that makes sense. Anyway, let's go. Whoa. Agreed. We'll get to check out those games later. For now, where's Kosei? Excuse me. Hello. How may I help you? We're looking for Kosei Nakahara, who we was just hired recently. Is he around? Oh, of course. One second. Oh, hey! You guys came! Place for ourselves. Dude, this place is so cool. Can't believe you're actually working at an arcade. I know! I can't believe how lucky I am. Long gone are those dull ramen shop days. Yeah, you really move up in the world. Tell me about it. I love it here. Does that mean your first day is going well? It's going great. That's awesome, Kosei. I'm happy for you. Although, I'm really curious to see what you do now. Can you show us? I'd love to. Great! Cool. Then let's get going. Huh? Wait a second. I thought you worked with the games. Nah, the games are cool. We just wait and see. Actually cooking? That's awesome! No, not yet, but this is just as good. Behold! Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your whole life? Who? Nina? Huh? What? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, dude, what are you talking about? 
What are you talking about? These porringers, of course. What's a porringer? One of these. So what else do you do here? What do you mean? Weren't you doing dishes before? Yeah. So isn't this exactly the same thing? This isn't the same at all. Like I said, these are porringers. What? Just look at these ceramic cups. These saucers, this carafe! Carafe? Isn't that just a picture? No, they're completely different. They're so cool! Way better than those dull bowls at the ramen shop. Dude! You're right. These porringers are beautiful. Right? Look at them! Such artistry. Such durability. I can see why you love washing them. I certainly would too. I'm glad you understand. Are you guys serious? Of course. Why would we joke about something like this? You two are both crazy. Did you guys see that? Now that's impressive. What is? The porcelain immaculation sanitizer, of course. This is some industrial grade heavy duty machinery. Hey, sorry, man. There's more. Uh, no worries. I'm happy to help out. By the way, great job so far. Thanks, man. I'm really excited to be here. Glad to hear it. It's a pretty fun place to work. Have you checked out any of the games yet? Oh, no, not yet. But I plan to. Do you have a favorite? You know what? Never mind. I think I finally understand why he likes it here. Yeah, me too. We should probably leave him to his work, though. Yeah. Hey, we're going to get out of here. Congrats again on the new job. Okay, cool. Thanks for visiting. While we're here, we may as well check out some of these games. Good idea. After all, it would be a real shame to come all this way and not even play one game. Agreed. Oh, good, you're home. Uncle Hajime, did you close early tonight? You sold out earlier than anticipated, so closed up shop. Your aunt is upstairs enjoying her night off. It's good to hear business is doing well. It's more fun at the bakery when it's busy. I hope you remember that during your shift tomorrow. Of course I will. That's my girl. Where's Evelyn? Oh, she's upstairs in her room. She's been holed up in there since dinner. I wonder if she's feeling well. It's just jet lag, Dad. Ah, of course. Have you two had dinner yet? I've saved some leftovers just in case. 